Breaking news now on KCAL News at 8. One week after four young women were killed along PCH, the man accused of hitting them is behind bars. That 22-year-old driver has been arrested again. KCAL News assignment editor Mike Rogers is at the desk tonight. Oh, Mike, he was originally detained but released, but now deputies have arrested him again? Yeah, that's right, Chauncey and Susie. The night of the crash, he was detained by the LASD, booked into custody, but then kicked the next morning, saying there was insufficient evidence. Well, now a week later, the sheriff's department has re-arrested him. We'll go ahead and show you some video. This is a video when I was actually up in SkyCal of that driver sitting on the side of the road now, 22 years old uh, Frazier Boehm is the one who's been identified by the sheriff's department as the driver in this and I can tell you tonight he has been uh, arrested and booked on four counts of murder in this case. Now he is being held in the LA County Jail on eight million dollars. We'll show you some video of the four victims here. Uh, these were all women from the Pepperdine uh, University there just up the street that were just walking down PCH last Tuesday night when the sheriff's department says the driver who uh, they've identified and arrested now was uh, driving down the road driving northbound on PCH, bounced off one car and struck the four girls as they walked along PCH. Sadly, all four of them did die there at the scene. It's been an emotional week ever since then for the students and family of those uh, victims there. Pepperdine has had several memorials, uh, including delaying classes to hold one on campus as well. It's also brought up a big conversation about speed on PCH. Now, the question is why murder? Why that count specifically or why those charges specifically versus something like vehicular manslaughter? We've asked the sheriff's department about that. They have not yet given us an answer as to why they chose to pursue the murder case here. We also did reach out to the DA who has been presented this case, but important to note, have not officially charged him. So he is in custody, been arrested on those four counts of murder, and they'll wait to see if the DA's office will charge him in those four counts. Guys.